Hey there, welcome back. I'm the Fnatic. Haven't done this in a while, but today we're talking about Tyler Hero. Recently made some controversial comments about being in the same club as Trey Young and Luka Doncic, and statistically he's kind of meeting those expectations. Now, this has been a really weird season, and we can't really say that, like, overall career-wise, that Tyler Hero is the same player as Luka Doncic and Trey Young, because that's obviously unfair to Luka Doncic, who's on pace to be the greatest player of all time. Don't even bother quoting me on that. If you look at the statistics from his rookie season, compare it to LeBron and MJ, they're basically identical. If you compare his two years after that, his improvement's much better. And if you look at Trey Young, he is an all-NBA point guard, and will continue to be an all-NBA point guard for many, many years. Now, obviously, it's been a very weird season with Luka not putting up Luka numbers, but it's like we're like five games in. Calm down, people. And Trey Young, same thing, but Trey Young is a different problem where the new NBA rule changes significantly affect him much in the same way where they affected James Harden, so he might actually struggle with this for a very long time, but that should help him to become a better passer, seeing as he can't rely on his own basic skill set to get buckets now. He has to actually involve his teammates a lot more instead of only looking for his own shot. Which is a good thing, because he was already a very unselfish player, but I'd definitely like to see him averaging John Stockton numbers of assists. And it, with the number of shots that he's going to be taking now compared to the number of passes he's going to be making, we could be looking at something like that, and that'd be pretty cool. We haven't seen something like John Stockton in a long time, and we need to respect what he did. Um, Luca, on the other hand, wow. I'm excited to see what happens when Luka Doncic gets back to being Luka Doncic because, well, uh, that's going to be amazing for the league. But back, back, back to Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero is... And as I've been saying since he was drafted, one of the most fun players to watch. He's, one, he's, in my opinion, one of the most skilled offensive players I've ever watched. Because his off-ball movement is simply mind-boggling. The way that he can move off the ball with such speed and determination, and then have the confidence to pull it the moment the ball touches his hand, it's surreal. And if we're looking at his numbers, coming off the bench, averaging almost the same number of points per game as Trey Young and Luka Doncic. Again, Luka and Trey are having bad years, but again, five games in. If if Hero goes back in the starting line, I would expect to see his numbers dip a little bit more because we know what Tyler Hero is. He's your Lou Williams. He's your guy that comes off the bench and drops 20 every night. And he's your scoring maestro. It, when you need to get in a rhythm, you take Tyra Hero off the bench and you say, go wild. And that's what he does. Now, I could easily see him keep improving and he could get up to maybe 27 points per game as peak. Don't quote me on that. He could be a little bit better, but... The way that he plays is a spark plug off the bench. The way that he plays is a guy that kind of caps around, caps around that 25 point per game range because he can't really, he's not exactly your centerpiece option. Now, about his comments of saying that he's in the same club as Trey Young and Luka Doncic, I'm not, it's a difficult thing to have an opinion on because Luka is... Don't put people in a club with Luka Doncic. Put Luka Doncic in clubs with other people. No, don't even do that. Let Luka Doncic be Luka Doncic. For God's sake, why do we need comparisons to players? Why can't Tyler Hero just be Tyler Hero? Why do we need to compare him? Um, but if you're going to put... If you're going to say that Tyler Hero isn't in the same club as Trey Young, then you have to say that Trey Young isn't in the same club as Luka Doncic. Because Luka is undeniably leaps and bounds ahead of Trey Young. And Trey Young is... He's leaps and bounds ahead of Tyler Hero in certain aspects. The scoring-wise, Tyler Hero is on the same level of Trey Young, and you can't prove me it. You can't tell me otherwise. 
I'd argue you can say the same thing for him being on the same level as Luka Doncic. But if you're looking at playmaking, um, both Trey and Luka beat him there. Um, if you're looking at his ability to play defense, okay, okay, they none of them are amazing at defense. None of them are amazing at defense. Let's let's not kid ourselves there. But if we're looking at say rebounding, Luka is a solid rebounder. He can get. What am I saying? He's an exceptional rebounder. Most of the things that Trey lacks, Luca also lacks, and most of the things that Hero lacks, Trey Young also lacks, and it kind of builds off each other with getting a little bit better each time. But the difference is that you have a sort of one-dimensional, faceted player in Tyra Hero, where he's like your, he's your catch and shoot rhythm guy, and then you have like Trey Young, who's your Hey, move out of the way. I'm your, I'm your point guard kind of guy. And then you have Luca, who's Luca doesn't have a team. Let's, let's not. Luca is just fifteen players merged into a body. That's all he is. He can, he does everything for his team. And when you're comparing that to guys like Trey Young, yeah, sure, Trey is great passer, great scorer. But he does, he's missing things that are hard to describe. Obviously, they all don't have amazing defense, and I'm going to keep going back to that point, considering it's their huge point of emphasis when we're talking about where they need to get better. But I trust Luka can be a solid defender at best. I trust that he can get the job done. Um, Luke, er, Trey Young... Uh, Tyler Hero is a better defender than Trey Young. Tyler Hero is a much better defender. Tyler Hero is about the same level of defender as Luka Doncic, maybe a bit better. Purely because Tyler Hero does not give up easy buckets. Trey Young, if if you've watched Trey Young play, you know you you know that Trey Young can't guard anyone. Trey Young can't guard anyone. And that's nothing to take away from him. He's still one of the best offensive players in the league, and I still want him running my offense. It's just like, would I rather have um, passing and scoring Trey Young, or do I want scoring and defending Tyra Hero? And I think that they're on the. I think that those two specifically are on the same level because of the way that they're two. Anything else? They just aren't. How, what's a non-offensive way to put this? They aren't amazing at everything else. They aren't. They don't have the it factor, and there are a lot of things that are very subpar. Not necessarily terrible, but subpar, and definitely below where you want them to be. Trey Young is one of the worst defenders in the league, and uh, we've seen that throughout his career. Now, Grant, he's still he's still young. It's only a couple years in, but. Still, <laughs> that's not an area of his game where he's going to get much better, where he's just going to suddenly pop up and be the greatest defender of all time. It's just not going to happen. And at least when I look at Tyra Hero, I can appreciate the fact that he doesn't give up easy buckets. I can appreciate the fact that he's at least an average defender. And I think that if given enough time, he can develop into a good defender. Now, obviously, I still don't think that they're exactly in the same tier, especially not to Luka Doncic. But I'd say that you can make a solid argument that Trey Young and Tyra Hero are... They're like... If Luka is the top tier, then you have, like, Tyra Hero... You have, like, Tyra Hero on the borderline of being in the second tier, and then you have Trey Young being, like, also in the second tier. And that that's kind of where it is, because Tyra Hero is no... He's obviously worse than Trey Young, but he's not, like... He, he also, a big part of his game, like, his secondary strength is defense, which is... In, but not in, like, a statistical way, and that doesn't get very appreciated... And the way that he plays, um, it doesn't appear like he's giving up or like he's an amazing defender. And 
he still isn't an amazing defender, but I still prefer to have his average defense to letting up 100 points a game to the opposing point guard. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.